And uh, first of all, I want to say sorry for my English. It's not the best, so I will try my best. Um, the thing is that there is something really strange happening with me for the last three months. That uh, because my parents got divorced like 15 years ago, mm. and now my father he's living with a new wife uh, in our old house, the the first house we had. So it's my childhood childhood house mm -hmm. from when I was a kid. And uh, my father had two other kids with the new wife, um, and they have been married now for around eight years. I never recognized something like that, what is happening for three months ago. Uh, one day I was sleeping three months ago, and I saw under my pillow there was a kind of a paper where there was written something. Uh, mm. in. I'm from Pakistan, so it's written in Urdu, mm. but I cannot read the Urdu language. So I was asking his wife uh, what is written, and there was just something like, there was just my name. They didn't tell me what it, what was written. And then two months ago, uh, like for now, three days ago, I was at my dad. First time after that happened, again, three days ago. And six in the morning, something really strange happened. I was in the room, and we have two doors which is closed, so there, there is not a uh, contact between me and my dad's room. So there is two doors which is closed. So six in the morning, I'm making my voodoo and going to the bed. And then I'm taking, I'm sleep, sleeping with the, um, with the, you know, the, how to say, I, I sleep with my face covered. So I cannot see or hear anything. Um, so suddenly the door opens and there is a cup, like a cup that hitting the wall and it's falling down. And then I'm looking I'm going into my dad and everybody is sleeping. I asked my dad what is happening and he's like, I don't know. Uh, I mean, they both were sleeping, so it just happened. So I really don't know what is happening. So maybe you can explain I, me. Uh, I, I don't know either because I haven't been there. And you said you've imagined that uh, some body was there or a cob and banging on the door or the wall and breaking it. So uh, fact number one, if you have the paper and you send a copy of it or you take it to your local imam, would know what is in it. I have no idea what is written in uh, the paper. And we cannot assume that there is something wrong or bad in it without really knowing what is written in it. Okay? Barakallahu feek wa jazakallahu khairan. I'd like to bring to the attention of the viewers that by no means we can tell the unseen nor guess. Uh, when we're sitting in private, when somebody comes to me in the masjid and have a long consultation with me and give and take, uh, it's completely different than when somebody is asking a question like that on air. And then you expect me to say there must be a magical spell or a sorcery or amal or whatever. This is not going to happen because you're not giving me enough data to tell you what is going on. Even people without any... Um, a magical spell they may experience things like that they may feel that uh, somebody is in the house or somebody is on something and uh, so this is not sufficient if, if you still have the paper show it to your dad if you still have the paper take it to a local imam who speaks urdu and i visited uh, denmark before and the imam of the main center is uh, is is in dupak so he can understand what is written in the paper then we can judge what is happening I assume you're linking between the two incidents, assuming that your stepmother is doing uh, some sort of magical spell. We cannot confirm that. Barakallahu uh, feek, brother. May Allah bless you and your family and protect you all.